Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm her Aries, my name is Chelsea and this is the channel where we do all Aries readings. And today we're gonna to take a look here at the energy of the week ahead. Thank you guys so much for being patient for, with me. I have just been an emotional wreck. I just be very honest and very transparent. <laughs> like it's, it's, it's just coming out of me, it's coming out of me. I can't explain it. I don't know, maybe it has something to do with my mom's birthday coming up. But yesterday was a hard day. So thank you guys so much for being patient um, with me. This is this might be how it's going to be for a little bit. Don't I get a handle on my emotions. Um, what else? Um, starting October 1st, I already said that the membership tabs will start being active in tier two and tier three. Um, which, and I'm going to post a poll for tier two to see what days that you guys would like to meet. And just a reminder, that's the Hierophant tier. And we're going to be doing a book club and other teachings in that tier, but we'll also be doing a live session, um, at least once a week. And we're going to vote which day that could be, um, that would be best for everyone. Okay. The book that we're going to start with is the power of the subconscious mind. I'm also going to put out, um, another live and just start letting you know that I'm accepting people who would like to get free readings. Now the free readings, there are, um, they're not just free readings with me. If you miss that live, go back and watch that. That's the live that just says Aries and explains all those tiers. Okay. Now, if you are interested in a reading with me, I'm only going to be doing them on Wednesdays. So you can email me and let me know that you would like a one-on-one -on -one session with me. All right, let's get started. Holy Spirit, Spirit guides and angels, please allow me to deliver a clear message here for the Aries Collective, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising. All right, so we got a powerful card here. The first card that came out, um, Sarah La Cali, the Divine Lineage, number six. This is powerful because it came out twice, right? And I even pulled it for myself yesterday, but I wanted to, I pulled it twice today because I was like, is this my energy? Is this Aries energy? put it back in the deck, shuffled really good, and it came out again. So I'm like, okay, spirit has spoken. And then when I read, and then when I read the card, let's put this on do not disturb. Then when I read the card, I was like, yeah, this is for the Aries Collective, especially because I just named one of the videos, um, something that it says in here, you are not alone. You are not alone. So let's take a look at this. Um, the great ancestress Lakali, meaning Sarah the Black, was an Egyptian prophetess and the patron saint of the Romani people. Oral history says that Saint Sarah had the highest divine lineage. So her guidance says your ancestors protect the Holy Grail. The Holy Grail is you. Divine ones walk beside and within you. Trust. The embodiment says your ancestors want to remind you that you are not alone. They are rooting for you. They ask you to honor your spirit guides and call upon the power of the divine. C create or nourish your ancestral altar or shrine. Unbury your ancestors. Speak their names. Your divine lineage ancestors may be blood related or culturally or spiritually connected. The goddess declaration is I am my sister and my sister is me. Let me tell you something, a few facts, a few facts. You don't have to know who your spirit guide is for them to still protect you, for you to still have a relationship with them. They've had a relationship with you before you were even born, okay? They were assigned to you right at birth conception and they've been with you every step of the way as I'm seeing this glowing thing on my wall. You do not have to know who they are for them to protect you. They do not go away just because you don't call their name. They still love you unconditionally, but it's very, very powerful that you know that and you utilize that, that you don't have to go on this journey alone here on earth. Even if you feel like you're physically alone, you don't have to, you, ha you don't have to think that you are okay because you are not and call of them i just urge people because i've seen so many magical things happen in my life to start just talking just start talking you know nobody else in the room you talk to yourself anyways talk to that ancestor talk to that spirit guide that one that is assigned to be with you at all times and watch them start showing you little signs all right little signs and synchronicities and things around you synchronicities things around you that you can see right that feathers the other day i'll tell you a quick story um i 
went to go work out. I hate running. Finally got some great running shoes. I realized that I hated running because I always had the wrong shoes. Felt like I was running on clouds. I wanted to try them out. We had to do 300 meters on the rower. And I was like, can I test out my running shoes today and instead run 300? My coach was like, sure, you run today. So I was like, cool. I just like, I don't, me, Chelsea, asking to run? <sighs> Unheard of. If you know me personally, you know I loathe running. Hate it. Like to lift heavy weights, hate running. But so I did that. And I remember I got to the third, to the fourth round and I was like, you know what? I'm just going to pull back and just do 150 meters instead of 300 because I'm worn the fuck out because I'm not a runner. And something in me said, no, keep going. And I kept going. And when I got to the stop sign, where was my stop mark? I looked down and I saw a white feather and it's actually still in my car right now. And I picked it up. And I remember the other day we were talking about that card in the ancestor oracle, the feather. And so I was like, wow, I said, there's my mother, right? So little things like that, when you start speaking to your ancestors, when you start speaking to them, things like that will start to show up in your life, okay? Um, this week, Aries, you have, it could feel like an awakening. It could feel like you're being called to action this week. We have the judgment card here coming out. This is usually a pretty big deal when the judgment card comes out. It's usually a situation that is about to come to an end. It's about to come to a closure, but there's a final judgment call or final decision or final call to action. Something could be coming back up, back into your life, revisiting a past situation, only for you to close it out finally, because after the judgment comes the world card, and that is the closure of a cycle. So something here that your ancestors could be very close to you to help you with this week, okay? You also got the earth guardian that says stay grounded and rooted, stay rooted and grounded here. All right, so maybe you wanna go plant your, your feet outside. It's starting to be a beautiful weather um, around everywhere, you know, and every, this is kind of like where we all are kind of experiencing. I mean, it's still hot as hell down here, but in the mornings it's cooler, it's cooler. So if you want to go plant your feet outside in the ground and talk, that's where you're really, that's where I feel like in nature, you're closest to God, um, and everything, right? Just everything outside of nature and you can ground your energy. I felt called to pull a lover's Oracle and look at that. She's by the tree with the heart. I was having a discussion was having a discussion the other day. I was having a discussion the other day with someone and I told them trees can talk. <laughs> and I said it with a straight face and uh, this is not somebody who would probably be in our community. <laughs> and so they looked at me like, no, I was like, I'm, no, I'm serious, they can talk. And they're like, yeah, they're like, I'm not gonna argue with it. I'm not gonna argue with you about this. Trees cannot talk. I'm like, all right. I said, okay. <laughs> and, I, and they thought I was joking until I, like, they were like, what? I'm, yeah, they can talk. All right. It says, close your eyes and tell yourself that you deserve to feel joyful. You can allow joy into your life regardless of the circumstances and you can currently find yourself in. All right. Let me read that again. Close your eyes and tell yourself that you deserve to feel joyful. You can allow joy into your life regardless of the circumstances that you currently find yourself in, all right? And let me tell you something. If you don't believe trees can talk, I dare you to go outside one day. You can look around and see if nobody, nobody is watching you and give a tree a hug and see what you feel. See what you feel. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, you might even hear something a little bit. The next card you have is honesty. Honesty. It says, I can't always expect the truth from others, but I can expect it from myself. And this card did come out in reverse Aries and at the bottom of the deck was discipline. So when I saw these two cards, I immediately thought here, this is about, and I've had the same conversation with myself as well, about being, dis being honest with yourself about your discipline whatever your goals are in life. Maybe it's eating healthier, exercising, going to sleep on time, um, pursuing personal projects. But are you being with, honest with yourself about your particular goals, right? Goals that you are trying to reach. Oh, look what I pulled out, lawsuit payout. All right. Let's see, what is the energy that we have this week for Aries? What is the main energy Aries is going to be experiencing here this week? I'm 
last going to pull three. We have number 38, Toil and Labor. Mm, crossing, eight, False Person. I'm going to take a look at that. What air, what my heirs be experiencing this week? And then we have 28, Expectation, 888. That could be significant to you. We have 8, 38, and 28, okay? And at the bottom of the deck is 3, 23, 32. Hmm, seeing a lot of same number, number patterns coming up, okay? So you have toil and labor, you have the false person that came in crossing, and you have expectation. Now, Aries, the toil and labor can sometimes be working without a cause. Like you're aimlessly working at something you could be working for someone else or you're spinning your wheels in something, you're not getting a break, you're very tired, um, and you're not seeing any fruit, the fruits of your labor, possibly because you're working to make somebody else's dream a reality. All right, so let's see how that may affect you or might apply to you, Aries. Here's my deck right here. Holy Spirit, as an angels, please allow me to leave a message here for the Aries collective. And by the way, I saw all you guys' comments about <laughs> my hair. I was just laughing every time somebody comments, they oh, I love your hair, I love your hair. Because I was literally sitting there checking my comments with an afro. <laughs> of course, I couldn't stay away from working out. And I went running and the in the heat and sweated all my hair out. And when I unwrapped it, when I got home, I had a fro. So this is what we're working with right now. All right, let's take a look at Aries for toil and labor. What do we have here? I just heard you need a plan, okay? You need a plan. Tell me about the Six of Cups. Woo, Ten of Swords. Tell me about the Six of Cups and the Toil and Labor. Five of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. Woo. Tell me about what the Six of Cups is with this. The Strength and the Page of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles is like getting an offer. It could be a job offer. It could be an offer of money. But the, but the, um, I was about to say, but the four of pentacles, but the strength card is holding back, holding back from receiving said offer. You got the six of cups here. This could be a friend, friend from the past, somebody who is friendly. Reciprocation of uh, energy, love, emotions, but the ten of swords is here. And that's the ending of a painful cycle or betrayal of some sort. And then you have the Five of Cups that came out and then the Ten of Pentacles. Five of Cups, regret, sadness, loss. And the Ten of Pentacles, this could be a business, a job. Hmm. What does this have to do with an Aries life? The death card. And I don't know if that came out in reverse the crossing transformation. It could be a Scorpio. Uh, there's something here that you've been working very difficult or diligently. That's the word. Diligently at. Okay. A situation. It doesn't have to be a literal job. It could be a situation that you've been trying to work at to wrap up. But there's something here about deception, deceit, or painful ending coming. Tell me about the Ten of Swords. The Ten of Swords. Ten of Swords. Page of Cups. You're getting good news about a bad situation or a situation that was very difficult for you to navigate or a situation that you didn't think would ever have any end. You know, you didn't think that there would ever be any end in sight. Okay. Um, I want to pull one more Kipper card for this, actually. Tell me about the toil and labor. Gift. Yeah, it's a blessing. Blessing. Give me one more here for the toil and labor. And family room. Could have a family dynamic. I was expecting a court case or something to come out, but it's definitely a family situation family dynamic, um, gift could be a monetary blessing. It could be any type of blessing, something that you consider as a blessing or gift, but it feels like this is a situation that has been a long time coming and it's finally coming to an end. 
Some of you could be a custody situation. Some of you, this could be a marriage situation. I'm seeing children involved, page of pentacles and the cups. I'm also seeing hearing, hearing negotiation, negotiation. So there's something here. That's what this is. Page of pentacles and the strength card holding back. You're being offered something. You're being offered something, but you're holding back. Now, some people around you may think that that's not a good idea. Like you should take what you're offered. But what I'm hearing is that you deserve more. You should get more. You should go for more. You're going to get more. Okay. So I think that's where the 10 of pentacles comes in from that page of pentacles. But this feels like a situation that has been going on for a long time or will is what I'm hearing. So some of you could be about to start this situation because it's time. It's time to go after something that you were owed. You are owed. You deserve. Okay. It won't be easy and it hasn't been easy, especially financially. It hasn't been easy, but you will be okay and you will come out okay. Okay. All right. So tell me about the false person. Some of you haven't even started this journey yet, but I think with the judgment, it's something, the judgment with the overall energy for the week ahead, it's coming back up. It's time for you to start this process. It's time for you to start something. I'm drinking cafe au lait. So <laughs> those of you know, you know, all right. <laughs> all right. It's not coffee. All right. So tell me about false person. Tell me about the false person here. I feel like that's why the divine lineage card is here. It's like your ancestors telling you we're with you. We're working through you. We're in you. We're around you. Go for this. See, there's nothing for you to fear. Tell us about the false person here. Why is the false person coming up this week? Hermit energy, Virgo energy. Tell me about the false person this week. Seven of pentacles. Could be delays. Tell me about this energy. The moon card. And the judgment, the judgment again. Oh, tell me about the moon. The eight of swords, the devil, and the two of cups. Somebody is obsessively, obsessively, obsessively thinking about you. Obsessively thinking about you. Is this person going to take any action? Yeah, they may. Uh, look how that came out. Ace of wands. There could be a rejection here, page, page of swords. It could be messages or communication, definitely spying. So if there's like somebody here, feels like a friend, could have been a friend or a lover, two of cups, the devil. If like they pop into your head, I would call your energy back to you. I mean, cause you, there's shit, you, what the fuck? I can't even talk. <laughs> like you shouldn't even have to worry about that shit unless somebody comes and steps to you, right? I don't. I don't necessarily see that it's some sort of magic or anything like that. It feels like this person, this person is bound or binded up in the mind, in the mind. They're binded in the mind. Eight of swords here and the devil energy. There could be some sort of obsession about you or the relationship that they had with you. And there's someone spying. There's someone watching. They may have take some sort of action and they may not, but it also could be that they are rejected. Tell me about the judgment. They are rejected. The Knight of Swords and the Six of Wands. Someone's trying to come back towards you. Ace of, I mean, why did I say Ace of Swords? Uh, Knight of Swords, they have a lot to say. Six of Wands, there's something here about success or victory, recognition. They could be angry or triggered by somebody's sex, success or recognition, okay? Um, ooh, somebody has been thinking about this, contemplating about this for a while, I feel like this could be coming to the surface. This could be coming to the surface here this week. All right. Tell us about expectation. Tell us about expectation, spirit. Hold on. Four of pentacles. We have the wheel of fortune. And we have the high priestess. What is your intuition telling you, Aries? What is your intuition telling you? It could be around your security, financial security, holding on to money, holding back on something until the time is right. Oh, and the magician is here. Tell me about the Wheel of Fortune. 
Eight of Swords, and the Two of Pentacles. Give me one more here about the Wheel of Fortune. What is that on this damn TV? Okay, let's see. All right, sorry. <laughs> they are going too much. Tell me about what this is. The Judgment again. Tell me about expectation. Two of Wands. Someone's taking action. Or there is a decision being made. Queen of Pentacles. This could be a, queen, a decision being made about someone's finances. Someone being generous, giving money. And the Knight of Cups moving forward. Tell me about the High Priestess. Three of Cups, Celebrations, Nine of Pentacles. So this is kind of like knowing, knowing, okay? Somebody's intuition is telling them that something, it could, some of you, it could be a person coming back. Some of you, it could just, somebody, there's an expectation. And I feel like this is connected to the gift um, of something getting better for you, financially getting better for you, business-wise getting better for you, or money getting better for you after a period of instability, um, we could say self-sabotage, but more so this is kind of the energy of being stressed out and anxious for so long that that is what you're continuing to manifest in your life is financial problems because of your environment, because of what you're going through. So yeah, sure, self-sabotage, but also someone's been in a situation so long, so stressed out, going through difficult financial stuff for so long. It's just been your vibrational set point. But there's something here about a shift or a change with the Wheel of Fortune and the judgment here. Maybe you're expecting finally something to come through for you. You don't know when it's gonna come through, but you know it's coming soon. And it's showing here that it is, Queen of Pentacles. So Four of Pentacles could be like, You've been penny pinching, you've been having to save, and now you're finally about to get something. The nine of pentacles came out that is going to be quite abundant for you. It could be a back payment of something. It's kind of the energy that I'm getting around that. So let's, with that being said, let's go into the financial messages here. I, I, I um, saw the poll. I did a poll about if y'all liked longer, shorter videos. I saw your comments. Y'all are so kind. <laughs> And uh, I've noted that. So I'm going to try to do like a shorter video in the morning and a longer video in the evening. All right. So let's take a look. Ooh, that came right out. I'm not going to shuffle anymore. What is this? We have quiet retreat. Quiet retreat. It says it's time for time to disconnect from the outer world so that you can discern and process your true thoughts and feelings from your inner world. Create this t quiet time for yourself excuse me, and you'll have more clarity about what to do next. What's at the bottom of the deck? Deserving this. Okay. So yes, that's what I've been trying to do as well. Having a morning routine of quiet time, quiet time. So we can hear God. Let's take a look. This is for Aries, sun, moon, Venus, and rising. What is all that around me? This is for Aries. Let's see here. Oh, didn't I pull this out? I pulled this card out earlier on accident. Lawsuit payout. So that definitely could be something here for you guys coming through. I have unexpected income. Unexpected income and frivolous spending. So be careful. Watch your spending this week, Aries. So maybe you guys know or feel that something is coming in and you kind of get like, you kind of like, I uh, start spending a lot. I do that sometimes. Milk and honey, show me the money is at the bottom of the deck. All right, let's take a look here. Let's take a look at your finances and career for the week ahead. This is for Aries. Show me the overall energy here for Aries for the finances Ooh, it's a great card to have I don't think we've gotten that for finances in a while the Empress okay it's the overall energy for your financial situation this week very abundant any challenges 
Eight of Wands, something coming in very quickly. Communication, Six of Swords. Six of Swords and the Eight of Wands. Messages, messages. These are usually good messages coming in, but the Six of Swords, someone moving on. Hmm. Could this be a situation of someone leaving your life? Eight of Wands, clarify this. Page of Wands. It almost feels like, okay, because I recognize this as a mother. It almost feels like where money comes in and then there's something here that is needed. Um, and that could feel like a challenge. But Spirit is saying here, especially if this is something that you've been waiting for or it's unexpected, take care of yourself, take care of your needs, right? Um, it's like even if you're a business owner, pay yourself first, you know, because there's always going to be things that come in that need to be paid, you know? Um, don't get in the habit of letting like bills and stuff run you. Cause that could just be so nerve wracking. What's advice from spirit here? The nine of cups, which fulfillment enjoy this. I mean, the Empress is a very abundant card. So I don't know what this could be for you, Aries, other than like, this could be like a promotion. This could be money coming in, money feeling really good or your bank account, like where things, <laughs> things are not all coming out at once, although it is the first coming up, but there's something here with the Empress energy that is an abundance. Maybe you're seeing something go up. Maybe you're seeing something increase for you. Okay, nine of cups here. The advice from spirit is to enjoy it. A wish fulfillment. Whoa. And the outcome is the sun also came out as the five of wands. Now this feels like, so five of wands, inner conflict. Okay, if, if this is like not some external drama, tell me about the five of wands. What does this have to do with? The moon card. Mm. I don't feel like it's going to affect you directly, although I would kind of, ah, that, that's what I feel like this challenge is. I would kind of keep, if there's like some sort of financial blessings coming to you, I would definitely keep quiet about it. Like, don't tell anybody you don't have to tell. It's all right if you tell your partner, right? Your partner's looking out for you if that's a good partner. But other than that, there's something here about me not needing to tell everyone or tell people or uh, sometimes we can tell people things without telling them, right? By showing them, um, what was that one meme that I used to post? It's like, uh, when, I, when I win the lottery, there will be signs. <laughs> And they show like whatever it might be, somebody going shopping, buying a big house, a big car, something like that, right? That's not you're going to win the lottery, I don't know. But it definitely feels like an abundance of wealth here. The sun says that this is very good. It's going to make you very happy. Nine of cups also wish fulfillment. But the moon, the moon talks about hidden things, hidden secrets, hidden motives, hidden motives, and it's connected to the five of wands, anger, somebody's angry, wanting to fight, challenge, upset. Uh, I don't like that energy. When it's connected to the moon, that means that somebody is doing something, speaking something, um, shit, underneath their breath, could be saying something, you know, evil stuff, but... I would just, it, but also to me, when I, it's the moon energy, it's beneath the surface, nobody is coming out and saying it to you, but still, still, you never know, you know, people like to speak things over people. All right, so let's see. Let's take a look here at the person on your mind, Aries. Let's take a look at the person on your mind and the situation on your mind. The person on your mind and the situation on your mind. Ooh, that's coming right out. First card is the mask. Hidden motive, concealed, disguise, and lying. Third party, interference, cheating, competition, mistress. Divine timing, wrong timing, stalemate, perfect timing, waiting, home, hmm, comfort, safety, belonging, shelter, and the last two, heartbreak and family, 
heartbreak in family, generations, children, ancestors, hurt, betrayal, grief, disappointment, party. What's this about here? What is this about, Spirit? Strength card. Leo energy. Clarify the strength card for me. Five of swords. Woo! So when I see this type of energy, five of swords and the um, strength card, this is kind of like having to use a lot of willpower to not say something. I was going to say not fight someone, but it doesn't have to necessarily be fight, but it's like, you know, or not calling someone out, not calling someone out, um, not cussing someone out because you know that you got got in some way or you got tricked, you got deceived, you got played um, by someone. All right literally all right what's the challenge what was that that wanted to come out the death card all right what's the challenge here three of wands what's uh, advice from spirit two cards came out the three of pentacles and the page of wands outcome Six of Pentacles and the Temperance. I feel like um, something is that I heard the word restore. I'm seeing the Ace of Swords. I heard the word restore. And I'm, I'm trying to figure out what that is meaning in this context. Let's clarify this again. Tell me about the Five of Swords and um, the Strength card. Five of Swords and the Strength card. What is this about? Nine of Pentacles, Independence, Breaking Free from Something, Luxury, Being Okay and Well Off, Seven of Pentacles, an Investment. Is somebody trying to come back towards you? Hold on. Tell me about this Five of Swords. Eight of Cups. This could be walking away from what no longer served you. Nine of Pentacles. Tell me about the Seven of Pentacles and Nine of Pentacles. Ace of Wands. Yeah. Somebody could be trying to come back towards you. Ace of Wands, new beginnings, taking action. It could be a sexual encounter or somebody trying to an, attempt that. This is someone that you walked away from. Eight of Cups, Five of Swords, or you need to, or you're in the process of doing so. I'm getting this energy with the five of swords and the strength card though, that ooh we, if this was not a, this was not an easy situation. This was not an easy situation. Somebody took a lot out of somebody. Tell me about the three of wands, eight of pentacles in reverse. All right. Remaining positive, positive expectation, waiting for your ships to come in. But also in the meantime, turning your back on something that you cannot repair. You cannot repair it. You cannot work on it anymore. It's a done deal. It's a done deal. I mean, clearly by the Oracle messages, we have third party. We have mask. We have divine timing. We have home. We have heartbreak and, fa heartbreak and family. I mean, just by looking at the Oracle cards, uh, it's... Oof. Just by looking at the Oracle messages here, it looks like this is a situation where somebody finds out in the nick of time at the right time that somebody is involved with the third party. Now, this could be a situation where somebody who already put you through this is coming back up, right? And I'm kind of getting a sense that if they went to a third party or something, they're coming back and like saying, you know, it didn't work out. They got their heart broke. Maybe there was children involved things like that. But I'm also getting the sense that somebody could have been dating someone, trying to either date someone or somebody wanting to rebuild something. And it's like, no, seven of wands. Yep. Seven of wands is being clarified by the three of wands and the page of wands. Somebody coming back to communicate, to take action, to talk to you saying, hey, let's work this out. Let's rebuild this. Your energy, seven of wands, standing your ground. Six of pentacles. So this is what I was hearing. Restore, 
magician tell me about this six of pentacles and the temperance page of cups there's new love being manifested so what was taken from you mm -hmm. ten of swords or if there was a betrayal in some way or there was a painful ending whatever you had to go through whatever you had to go through in a situation aries when i'm hearing restored it's like some there's new love coming in Whatever you lost emotionally, physically, mentally, whatever you're going, it's going to be restored. Um, so there could be something new coming in. Now, I would just oh, pick up the pieces and keep it moving because it feels like what I'm getting, what I'm picking up on is that somebody was dating somebody. They liked them a lot. They invested in them with the seven of pentacles there. And um, somebody was either lying about a family uh, are lying about their situation. There was definitely a third party involved. Uh, and you feel tricked. You feel played. You you know. But I, what Spirit is saying is is that there's something new coming in for you. Pick up the pieces and keep it moving. Right. Don't. And I'm saying that in the nicest way. But it's not someone that is even worth you dwelling on. It's not someone you're worth giving your energy to and crying and and moping about. Just pick up the pieces and move on okay um all right because if they could do it to you they've done it before they'll do it again it's not worth it all right let's take a look here at single single aries what's coming towards my single aries what's coming towards my single aries You have past life, okay? Knowing deja vu moment and past love. Ooh, destiny. Okay, luck, chance, meant to be. True love. Okay, single Aries. Your readings don't really look like this. And we got young female, okay? Youthful music fashion, okay? We got mature woman, so soulmate. All right, ice queen. I mean, you could be meeting a younger person. They make you feel youthful or, you know, they are very energetic. They dress nice. They like, you know, fashion. But, you know, I think Aries would definitely attract that type of person. They like music. Music could be a mutual thing. You could meet at work. The three of pentacles just popped out. Um, and when you meet this person, it's going to be like a knowing of, you met them before. You've met this person before. You've known this person before. Whoa, what was that? Something was flying to my eye. And it's meant to be. You're about to run into somebody where it is meant to be. It is meant to be. Let's see here. Tell me about this for Aries, single Aries. Ten of Wands. It's the ending of a very difficult cycle for you. And I'm look at this at the bottom of the deck, the fool. A brand new one is about to begin. Tell us about single Aries. What's coming towards single Aries? Look, the chariot and the eight of cups. Ooh. Some of you single Aries, if you've been practicing on um, disconnecting from something from your past, and you don't even have to be dating anybody from your past. It's just like, Let's say, for instance, I get this a lot with people. Um, they'll always come to me and they want to know about new love, but they're constantly, every question has to do with a past person or an ex. And they'll tell me they're done with that person, but they're dreaming about this person. They're feeling this person around them. Are they going to pop up? Da, da, da. You don't know how many times that same scenario happens, but they desperately want new love. And I tell them the same thing. <laughs> it's like, even if that, because one, you have to know that we're all telepathic. So just because somebody's popping up in your energy and you know, like you're done with them, they could be thinking about you. They could be getting off to you, the pictures of you, things like that, right? And, you know, you thinking you still want them or whatever. It's not you. If you know that, you call your energy back, you know, do some protection work if you need to. But it's not, but by you feeding into that, right? And so somebody's pulling on your energy, you're feeding into it, you're wanting to know, well, why? Why am I feeling them? 
Why, <laughs> why am I dreaming about them? Well, they probably had a wet dream or something. You know what I'm saying? It's, they could be trying to manifest you back. They could be doing all of those things. But if you don't want to, if you don't want to be with them, you don't have to give into that energy. Okay. And so what I'm saying to say is when I'm seeing the eight of cups and the chariot come out together, I feel like this could be an Aries who is finally disconnecting from someone emotionally and psychically. Okay. Because the cups energy, water energy, letting go of something on the emotional level that you no longer care to invest in, be with, or think about. And this, this person is going off to find the other two cups to complete their happiness because what was in the past didn't work out. And if it was in the past and it didn't work out, then there's no reason to focus on it. Right. And then the chariot is here saying that you're moving forward. You're bulldozing forward. You're taking the lessons that you've learned from that relationship. You're going to utilize them for the future, but that's about it. Right. So that's why I'm seeing with the 10 of wands. There's a cycle coming to an end for you, Aries. Look at the bottom of the deck is the Empress. Empress can represent new love, new creations, birth of new things. Beautiful energy here. We have the Knight of Swords, Air, uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Tell us more what's coming towards Aries. Five of Wands. Tell me what's coming towards Aries. Ten of Swords. Tell me about the Ten of Swords. Five of Wands, Ten of Swords, Ace of Cups. Woo. Now, in this case, I do see a bit of a battle here, okay? I do see a bit of a battle, but not with the new person. This definitely looks like new love is coming in, Ace of Cups. There is something here with the Five of Wands, Knight of Swords. This is X energy, right? So this could be definitely why you're feeling them, okay? But I am still seeing a nail in the coffin. Ten of Swords, Five of Wands, King of Swords, Queen of Swords energy, Okay, sometimes the king and queen of swords can represent divorce couple and ex or someone here. This could be an interference or trying to interfere. But what I'm seeing here, mostly with the ace of cups and the queen of cups here, that there's new love coming in and it's putting an end to a cycle, a bad cycle, a painful cycle. I don't want to say bad, but a painful cycle, a mentally draining cycle or a cycle of being with people who mentally manipulated you. There is a, a clearing of that energy that is not going to happen anymore or it's clearing out. Okay, so that is what I have for you guys. Let's pull a guardian, guardian angel card. Let's see. Here. For the week ahead for Aries. Let's see what we have here for Aries, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising. Let's see here. You got positive outcome, positive outcome. And look underneath this conflict. You did get a lot of that energy this week. So I don't know if somebody's going to be angry. It's going to be some of it's going to be internal conflict. Um, yeah. So it says at this very moment, you are sowing the seeds of your future through your thoughts, feelings, beliefs, and attitudes, whether through love, fear, or indifference, you are always creating something. So remember to keep your thoughts and beliefs and attitudes positive and you will create a positive outcome. All right. So that is what I have for you guys. Take care.